Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we're just checking out the new, two new updates, update 2 and update 3 and we're going to try and eventually see how far we can go with automation and terraforming as well because there's a lot of terraforming involved now. So, in the last episode, we started making a little production area which is coming along pretty nicely and I'm going to say this again, I'm going to say this again. I love the new designs of the storage. It just looks really cool. I love that. Look at all them planks. 101 planks there. It doesn't look like 101 planks, but it looks good. And then we've got our cogs that we need to start doing. And I've just decided to put logs in these two. Now, oh, oh, and look at this bad boy. Look at, look at all them carrots. Ain't that just beautiful? <laughs> Ain't that just beautiful? So what are we going to do in this episode? Let me just pause it and let's go through this. So I want to expand this district as in population wise. So we need more beavers because we just don't have enough beavers to run all the jobs that we need. And I just want to start getting onto more science and more production areas and all this jazz. So we need better water supply. We need more houses and I want to change a few things around as well. So. Food is not doing too bad. As you see, we're stocking up on food pretty nicely. We're not even using the berries. Um, I want to put the forest over here. Reason being is that I'm going to put these logs in these. So everything's easy. It's nice and short. Pathing will be happy. The pathing gods will be happy. But I am going to leave these as maple. And as you can see from the last episode, I did change these all to maple. I made it a little bit smaller. But the reason why... I want to keep it as maple is because I want to get maple syrup. So eventually we're not going to cut these down. So yeah, we're going to not cut them down eventually when we start having our forest down here. I'm going to move the forest around here somewhere and we're going to make a little maple forest along here or something like that. We're going to design something. First thing I want to do, I want to sort out water. Now, I've done some research. <laughs> I've been doing a, a bit of research while, while I've been off camera. And I have unlocked the big water storage. Now we can't make that because that actually costs uh, metal bars. But look at this bad boy. That looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I actually want to make a design with this in mind, but we're not going to use this just now. We're going to be using these ones, but I kind of want to make something with this. So first things first, I want to make it on the water because we need as much real estate as we can get, especially when it comes to this ground for farming, for trees and all that jazz. We don't need to put water production on the ground. We can put that on planks. So let's make a little area here, I would say. So let's pause this again, just so we know what we're dealing with. Now this bit is higher than this bit. So I'm going to make this like this because we've already got a path in here. So you might as well do something like that. Now I might make, what section do I want? I'm trying to see like aesthetically what would look more pleasing. Maybe something like here using this section here. Okay. so. First of all, let's get that done. I think that's looking okay. That's a nice wide area for us to play about with. And I can even cut these off and make another pathway going down just to add more pathing options. So we could do something like that. And that going across like that. Now, I don't know how many beavers I'm going to have in this district. So I don't know how much water I would need. It produces one water every 0.33 hours. So the working day is what, 16 hours, right? I believe. Yeah, working hours, 16. Okay, so checking the calculator. These produce around 
31 units of water per day. Then you've got production time. So production time will be how often they're producing this water or how what the downtime time is. So I'm guessing the production time is quite low now because our water storage is actually full. When it's not full, they'll be producing 100% of the time. If each beaver drinks about three units of water per day, one of these should theoretically be able to uh, feed 10 beavers. So, if I put six of them here, that would be 60 beavers worth of water, which I think is pretty decent. So let's, let's do that. Let's do that. So where are we going to put that? Let's, uh, where are you, water pump? I think, oh, we've also got to look at where, how the storage is going to look. So I want to put, I would love to put two big storages like this. So you just see all that water in there. Maybe like this. And then we can have the pumps around here somewhere. Around here. So we can fit two pumps there. And three pumps here. Hmm. Maybe that's not the best place to put them. Okay, maybe maybe I've got something. Let's uh let's try this. So if I put one there and put one here. Yep, like that. Put one here as well. And one here. Okay, so that's two. I want to get another two in there. Well, that's four, sorry. I want to get another two in there. Now, it won't fit in here. It just doesn't look right. We could actually just go with a lot more. And put... put them here and here and have eight all together. That would be a lot of water. But it will look better. And it will always allow us to upscale. So I think we're going to do that. Now let's look at storage. If we were to use the big storage, we can have one there like that. And one there like that. You know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. The only problem is I would love where's yeah, I would love for the pavement to go across like this, right? We could do that. We'd have to get dynamite eventually and blow this up. But we could do it. And then just all of these have path in. They do, but that looks a bit funny. It'll be like that. Like that. And like that. It wouldn't look too bad. Because I would eventually... I would eventually blow this up. So we could leave it like that for now. I wish they had had inverted ones of these. <laughs> so we're going to delete that for now because we don't have the resources to build that. So instead of building that, we are going to have the medium tanks. And I don't really mind how these are going to be because they're not a permanent solution. That's fine. And then we can go. 
something like that. Okay, that's fine for now. Okay, let's make this forestry area. So, let's get this bad boy. Hmm. Okay, so let's pull it here for now. This might change. And then, we can make a little forest here. So I do want to think about pathing. I want to think about woodcutters and all that jazz. So if we put maple going along here, I want to leave a bit open there. Just because I want to get a lumberjack. In fact, you know what? Let's do that. And let's put two lumberjack flags here. Just in case we need to. So that will help with production here. That will bring all the wood here. They can use that wood to do whatever they need. I like it. I like it. And oh, he can build the whole thing. Amazing. And once we build that up and once we start getting that going, I will stop the cutting of this. And then we can start waiting for it to grow maple. Then I can delete this and we can use that space for something else. So it might be nice to start making a little um, housing complex. And I kind of want to build it around the town center here. Yeah, I think I kind of want to build it around this town center. Okay. So what are we doing with this? So I don't want to use the lodges. This is what I've got here. But I need to build some of this before we start deleting the lodges. So this one uses has nine beavers in it. But you need stairs to go up. Like that. Hmm. Now I did use designs earlier on in other series, which were pretty decent and they worked very well. But I don't know if I want to do that. I might try and think of another design because I do want it to shape around this bad boy. I would actually like to get some bridges. I might have to um, relocate these for now because I want to use this area and I need it clean. I need it empty. So let's. This is going to cost me so many resources. <laughs> this is this is going to be crazy. Okay, let's, uh, what have I got? Four houses there. Let's make this a priority. And then once that's built, we can delete that and start planning that stuff. Okay, with that pretty much out of the way, we can start planning this. Now, I love the way that they've done this. When you destroy something, you get your resources back. I don't think it's all the resources, but it is some of it and they have to just collect it up and put it back in storage which is absolutely amazing okay so i want to use these bad boys now i'm planning to have around let's say let's build for 40 beavers in this district if i put that like that and that like that We can make like a, a pathway going around here. Something like this. Okay, I like it. I'm liking that so far. And then if we wanted to, we could make this go up here. Like so. Now, what do we have? The rooftops. Yes, rooftop terraces. Hmm. We could pull it like that. And have structures going around it. So we do something like this. 
and then something like this. And that can build all the way around. Like that. Like that. And like that. Okay. It's a nice little design. So that is not exactly 40 beavers, but it's definitely enough. And if you really, really wanted to, we could make another um, layer of this. So like, say we put, what is this, a hauling post? We can't put anything on top of that. Can't put anything on top of the builder's hut, no. Maybe if we put storage. Something like that, right? That means, now I'm gonna pause it quickly because I don't wanna, I want them to start building that. We could do something like that, put that there, and then put that there. So that means we'll be using the bottom bit for whatever storage we want. We could do that all the way around. Let's say, and it just gives us extra places to use storage. Which is, um, why not? Like, you need to use every part you can. And verticality is the best way to do that. And then we can store up, like, food or something, you know? We can store up whatever we wanted. And we could even make more rooftop terraces. Or we can just put roofs. Do I have roofs? I don't have roofs. Do I unlock roofs? Nah, I don't need the roof just yet. But yeah, we could do something like that. But I'm not going to do that right now. Although I do like it. <laughs> I do really like it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. All right. Um, we're going to do it, but we're going to pause them once they're built because obviously we don't want that many beavers at the moment. And then we can just put this going around there. This going all the way there and this are in there okay and then we can maybe put some um some monuments or stuff like that i haven't unlocked many things yet but we can play around with some aesthetic designs over there oh that's a lot for this episode <laughs> we've got all this we've got all this and we've got that but we've got a lot of wood here look how much wood we've got we've got tons of wood we just need beavers. We just need beavers. So I think I want them to get another building done so that they start producing more beavers. You know what? I'm going to put another house down for now so that that will add another three beavers on. That will help us with research and just these tasks here because I'm not making any planks at the moment, which is really bad. In fact, I should stop this and put uh, planks. Okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. That's all getting built. That's looking amazing. We've got this going. Once all of this is done, we can destroy all of this. And I think we're going to be absolutely great. I love the design of this. I actually really like it. Look at the silhouette. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, so <laughs> enough of me rambling on. Let's let that all get done and I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, we are all done. That took that took a fair amount of time. <laughs> that took a fair amount of time. Okay, so let's see what we have done. We can actually delete these now. Um, how many beavers do I want going? If I do two of these, that would give me 18 beavers right there. And we can delete all of that. That's a nice amount of beavers. We could most probably even open one more. I think we could open one more. Let's let's do that. So that's 27 beavers, I believe. They're nine each, right? Let's take a look. Let's just double check. So nine each, yeah, 27 beavers. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So we've got, as you can see, a lot of wood. <laughs> They've been at it. They've been at it, guys. We've got 2.7K research. We've got all of this running. 
which is absolutely amazing. When we need more water, we can just start it. And we have rooftop terraces, which are looking pretty fancy. And then the last thing is we've got this little forest going. So I've set up this area as well because I want to get maple syrup, which is done by Tapper Shack. And I want to get pine resin, which is also done by Tapper Shack. So I thought let's put them together. We've got a lot of um, a lot of them so we can get a lot of resources quite quickly. So the last thing I want to do in this episode is I want to get this working. So we need to get the storage out. We need to get the Tapper Shack and then I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. So let's focus on that. Where are we looking? This bad boy costs 500 research. That's not bad at all. And we can put that like right there. Hmm. It would have been lovely if the door was on the other side, right? If only. What can go in this? So neither the maple syrup or the pine resin can go in that. So what storages does that use? Does it tell me here? I don't believe it does. So maybe. OK, so we can see here so that so we can use one of these to do maple syrup, which is cool because we have more maple syrup than anything else. What about the pine resin? Does that go in this? Yes, it does. And I also got to figure out what I'm going to do with these storages. <laughs> We've got a four storage empty here that we can use. But first, let's deal with this. So I'm happy to just put, how big would a storage be? Ooh, that's a bit too big, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit too big. But we could pull it like that eventually we could actually make this whole thing i don't know if we would need that much uh, that much uh, maple syrup but why not so we can put one storage here for this and this would be for the pine resin and then we'll put that other storage there but we don't have any metal bars at the moment so we're just going to be using this storage which is absolutely fine for now I do need to start getting metal bar production going because that is what we're slacking on at the moment. So that'll be pine resin and that will be maple syrup. Happy days. All right, now let's get Tapper Shack. Do I want to put that there? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I actually want to pull it close to this because it'll be better if it's next to the storage. And that way we can do something like this going like that, that going like that. And then they can have access to the whole area there. Lovely. And we're going to need mostly more food. But I do want to get a different type of food. We'll have to see how they are surviving with the food that they've got. But for now, let's put some more carrots down because we just need to make sure that we don't uh, run out of food unexpectedly and that we can have our own time to deal with any situation that arises. Okay, that's looking good. I'm actually going to delete this bit for now. I'm going to put uh, another path in there, just make it a bit easier. You know what? It's not looking too bad, is it? not looking too bad what we've got enough gears we've got we've got loads of resources now we've got loads of resources all right now what are we going to do with these ones what can we put in here i could make them different types of food right or different types of ingredients so we've got wheat flour we've got spanadoc we've got wheat potatoes cattail flour cattail roots and chestnuts Hmm. You know what, I'll most probably, should we put them all dynamite? <laughs> they can sleep on top of dynamite. I mostly for now, we'll just leave it as it is. 
And when we need the storage, we can use it. So let's, since I've got so much research, we might also start jazzing up the place. So let's get that. I do, I should look at the stuff that I actually need as well. Oh man, did I just do something absolutely terrible there? This is out of alignment. <laughs> this is, no. That needs to change big time. Okay. So we can do this here and then the house. Like so. Okay, much better. Ooh, nearly had to restart the whole game just then. And do that. We can get some bushes down. And then what about roofs? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely happy with that. And I think that is pretty much all we're going to get done in this episode. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you on the next episode. On the next episode, we are going to mostly focus on either metal production or research. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.